Oke. Yes. <laughs> ini pok pok anu pok akiat. <laughs> yes. Hi, I'm Carissa Kiza. I'm 20 years old and I'm representing the province of Surigao del Norte. I'm currently a third year college student and I'm taking up secondary education major in English. Um, what is one beautiful word in your local language and what does it mean? I think the most beautiful language in my province is it Marajao. So it means uh, you're good, you're great and that's one quality that I would like to possess in competing in Miss Universe Philippines, that I am Marajao and every Surigaonan is Marajao. Yes. Next question. What is that uh, one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? I think it is the experience that when my parents get separated, so coming from a broken home was never easy and that those life experiences taught me a lot and it is it became part of who I am today. I've learned that we have to value every little things, and I realize that every little thing counts and matters, that during this time of pandemic, we have to give value, appreciate everything that we have in our lives until, unless it's gone. So um, this pandemic taught me a lot. It even helps me to discover my strengths and my weaknesses, and that I finally find my purpose, which is to, to be greater than any challenges. So if ever I win in this Miss Universe Philippines, I want to amplify, amplify the voice of the indigenous community, which is mainly my purpose in joining Miss Universe, and that I want to show to the universe what Sui Gaonan has to offer, and that we have a very rich biodiversity, culture, and traditions in my province. I think the color that symbolizes phenomenal woman is gold. S a phenomenal woman, someone who uh, who bright, who shine bright, uh, splendid and sparkling. That uh, everything could be. I mean, everyone could be phenomenal in her own little way, and that every little thing, our purpose, our individual platforms, and that. We are really driven by this purpose that amid the pandemic that we are now facing, we are conquering the universe and we have a story to tell that we are really braver and we are greater. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to develop creativity within us. So even if we are working from home and we are being quarantined at our home, we can do something out of creativity. We can either think of new ideas to discover something that might actually help us to, uh, to have a better lives and to help us to arise from this pandemic. Yes. Whether man-made or natural that you want to promote to the world, what would it be? Probably I want to promote Chargao Island. So it is known to be the surfing capital of the Philippines. And it is my pride and honor to tell everyone that uh, our, our province is very rich in biodiversity. You can actually found both fauna and flora that we are having in our province and that people don't know it that we have a very uh, most skillful people in my province. There are actually a lot of products in my province, but yeah, I'm wearing this kind of fabrics that I want to promote in the whole wor wild world that people in Surigao, the Surigao, and that, and then when we hear about supporting locals, it means, it doesn't only mean that we boost the economy, but we are also promoting the beauty of diversity and the culture in my province, and that's one thing that I would like to advocate, support local. Focus 
I think people like me, the young girls anywhere, should embrace who they really are because it is mainly uh, one way on overcoming your fears and overcoming challenges. And I believe if you are being true to yourself, it reflects your own personality. It exudes strong personality, which is one thing that can that can never be taken from you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much.